let us get back to MySQL database. The first few minutes I'm going to spend on what is database. Okay. Typically any information okay, that we want to store in a structured manner. So the first use of database is something to store information. Okay. Then retrieve information. Okay, uh, there was a small interruption in the internet. Hope you are now able to hear my voice. Is my voice clear now? Can you please raise the hands? Okay, sorry for that internet disruption. I am actually connecting to uh, a wireless internet network. So it was uh, giving some minor hiccups especially in the evening time where the congestion is very high. Okay, let us continue on the database. The purpose of the database is to have store information and retrieve information. In fact, I should use the word data. Store data and retrieve data. Any data that we want to store, typically they are all either commercial usage or for personal usage. Now, previously, if you look at uh, before 1980s, I would say mostly paper. People used paper to record the information. Then 1990s onwards, people used a file system, right? typically the software flag file system. Then uh, 1995 onwards we get uh, DBMS packages, okay. I would say otherwise RDBMS packages like uh, Oracle, a lot of RDBMS were available. So the information or the data can be stored either on a paper or in a file, software file or in a database, but where the database helps is here store the data retrieve the data do all these quickly this is the key the business needs to get the data very very quickly if I use paper I take more time so that is where these databases help process the data very very quickly and there are other uses of data database itself is sorting, there is a feature called sorting, so arrange all the student names in the descending order of their total marks, okay. So I want to prepare the finalists in the public exam, so I need to do sorting. Then searching, give a particular roll number, see whether that particular person has passed or not. You give the roll number or name, get me the individual marks in every subject in a particular semester of that person. So I have to go and then search in so many data out of 10,000 students get the data, right? Then presenting the data. 
more than anything else if i simply print it on the screen it's not going to help and i need to group i need to do lot of other operations on the data so that the data is printed on the screen very well in a readable manner in a self explainable manner so presentation of the data is also the key so for storing retrieving sorting searching presenting for all these things database is used is this clear the very very fundamental concept of a database is this clear good now the next part the next part in the database is you might have heard two terms one is dbms another is rdbms okay there are two terms always you will be coming across okay dbms as well as rdbms they store data they retrieve data search sort everything the only difference between this rdbms and the dbms is maintain the relationship between data right so when you say a simple file even an excel sheet is a database management system anything using which you store data right is a dbms a normal word document is a dbms a dot txt file if you store all the data right that's a dbms then what is the difference between rdbms and dbms is this rdbms maintain the relationship of the data if i use dbms like a flat file or an excel sheet or whatever then our program must maintain relationship between data whereas the database itself maintains the relationship what is a relationship in simple terms very simple terms i need said what is a relationship for example i have a, a flight ticket right it is confirmed right now in that flight ticket i have a reservation number or id id some auto generated number is almost like pnr number in your uh, railway reservation system it also has a flight number right in the ticket the ticket will be stored in some place the flight number will be stored in some place is this flight number a valid num valid flight number is this a valid flight the database management system will maintain the ticket details passenger name etc in one place the database management system will store the flight information its origin its destination etc in some other place but when the ticket is shown it shows a flight number also does this flight number exist in some other place there is a relationship there are multiple types of relationship like uh, one to one relationship one to many relationship etc we will talk about that when we go deep into this database structure a normal flat file dot txt file or fox pro right they may not maintain this relationship you you have to write programs to maintain this relationship whereas an rdbms like oracle ms sql mysql using database itself you can maintain these relationships that is why they are called relational database management system apart from that both are same both are dbms as well as rdbms they store data they get data they search they sort everything but dbms does not maintain this one to one one to many relationships whereas rdbms maintains these relationships when we just remember we will be seeing there is a concept called the foreign key and constraints when we go through that you will understand what is exactly relationship but at this point of time you just keep at this level we will move on now what we are going to see now is 
how to use MySQL and what is the syntax in which to store data. In fact, I, I use the word store data, retrieve data, search, sort, present. Now we have to go and then see how to store, how to sort, how to retrieve, how to update, etc., etc. The how part is what is going to be conver covered in this webinar. Let us get started with MySQL. Okay. You can go to mysql.com and then install, download the free version. There are a lot of versions available, right? Uh, you can download the MySQL version because it's an open source database management system, RDBMS, and it is free for even normal usage also, okay? Once you install MySQL, you will get this prompt, MySQL. We have installed the 5.0 version, okay? So we have installed this, then you will get this MySQL command line client. While installing, it will ask you a password. What is the password for the root user? There is a user called a root user. You have to give some password, okay? You have to remember that password because when you reach, when you want to log into MySQL, at the time of installation, whatever password you have given, you should remember that and then give it. Now, after installation, you will get a link over here and then MySQL command line client. If I click on that MySQL command line client, it will open up a window, which is like, uh, I would say like DOS prompt, okay? It will be like a DOS prompt. Now, whatever password that I have given at that time, I have to enter now. The moment you enter that password, it will say, welcome to MySQL monitor, okay? Now I am inside MySQL. So first you have to start MySQL and then log into MySQL. Now we are inside MySQL. Okay. Before getting into the syntax levels of MySQL, there is one more concept that you all need to know. Database. Okay. When I say MySQL database, it is not a single file or it is not a single program. It contains lot of things, okay? The first thing that a database contain itself is called, okay, database system, I would say, the entire system. It contains something called databases, okay? I'll talk about what is databases once I get into MySQL. But as of now, just remember, there is something called databases. There is something called a table, okay? In Excel sheet or in any spreadsheet, you'll see rows and columns, right? The table is nothing but rows and columns of data. The table is the one that actually contains our data. So table is the base information. Database is nothing but group of tables okay if I have some hundred table put them in a group pretty much like in our uh, file system you have an individual file within each file you have got multiple lines and you put a set of files in a particular folder so collection of lines is a file collection of files is a folder same way database contains a group of tables table is nothing but rows and columns there is something called index, right? We will talk about that index in a nutshell. Index helps in searching. As of now, remember index, this is like index at the end of a book, okay? It helps you to search faster, go to the page very fast for a given word. We will see how this index is created. Index, there is something called a view. Okay, view, again, it's, it's a logical element. We will see view also. View is also a part of database. There is something called constraint, okay? Constraint are nothing but rules. So the database includes tables, 
index views constraints right in databases there is something also called triggers right triggers are automatic events okay we will talk we will cover only the theory part of triggers in this webinar not the syntax part of it there is something called stored procedures stored procedures are again programs in database so this database when i say it contains everything triggers and stored procedures tables index views constraints triggers stored procedures these are all elements of a database system pretty much like a human being will have a head shoulders two hands legs like that they are all parts of a human being same way parts of the database system is database table index view constraint etc etc is this clear a few people have asked the question uh, is oracle and mysql are same or different they are different definitely they are different but conceptually they are same oracle ms sql mysql they are all different different database systems but conceptually everything is trying to achieve store data retrieve data search sort present very simple right now let us get into the actual mysql 